knot called the Bolin knot. This knot has been around for hundreds of years. It was used on ships to hold the, the square sail toward the bow. The beautiful thing about this knot is that once it's tied, it does not slip down or cinch down on itself. It stays put. This knot is very easy to make. We start by making an overhand loop. Then we take the tag end or the working end. We go up through that loop, around the standing part, and back down through that loop. Hold the tag and the loop that we just tied and then pull against the standing part. That'll cinch this knot down on itself. And now you have a loop here that will not cinch. A loop that stays in place. Again, a fantastic knot. And there are other knots based off of this that, that we will tie based off this same knot. This knot is extremely handy in that it also unties easily. Almost no matter how, what, how hard of a bind you put on it, you can still untie it. This knot is used for putting a line around moorings to attach a, a ship to a dock. It can also be used to make a, a lasso out of it. So many knots are made from this bowline. Again, super simple to make. We do is we want to make an overhand loop. So we twist two just as if we're throttling a motorcycle. So twist two. And then here's a mnemonic device to help remember how to tie this knot. And I, sh I didn't make it up. I wish I would have. It's really good. It helps me, uh, certainly, or has helped me in the past to remember this knot. But as you twist it two and you make an overhand loop, that's now a rabbit's hole, okay? And the tag end is the rabbit. And so you twist it two and the rabbit then comes out of his hole and he goes around the tree and then goes back down into his hole. And there's your bowline knot, okay? See the knot there? Let's do that again. Twist two, make an overhand loop. And when you do, you make the rabbit's hole. The rabbit, which is the tag end, comes up out of the hole, goes around his tree and back down in the hole. Grab those lines, pull in opposite directions. Now you've got a perfect bowling knot. A knot that will not slip on you. I mean, it won't, won't cinch down here. Okay? This knot is easy to untie in that you take this wrap and you just pull it down and you can bring the whole knot apart. Okay? Now, in some instances, this knot has been said to, to give if it's under stress and then the stress is released. Stress and the stress is released. And that type of constant action that the knot can give away. And so I'll show you a way to secure it even further. Twist two. Rabbit goes up through, goes around the tree and back down through his hole, through the hole. Pull that tight, okay? Now you have this tag in. With this tag in, you can put a half hitch here and that'll help secure that knot. Also, you can put a double overhand knot in that tag in. And this makes this knot uh, extremely secure now. Bowling knot, fantastic knot to learn. This knot is also used whenever you're rescuing someone either out of a ravine or rescuing someone out of the water. If you have a man overboard, this exact knot would be used. You would actually make a bowline and then throw this out to the person to put around their, around their waist or underneath their arm, armpits, around their chest. And of course, you'd make a, a larger loop than this, but I'm just making this this size loop, of course, this is the size of the rope that I have, but they would be able to put this underneath their arms and be pulled to safety because it will not cinch down on them and, and suffocate them in that way. And so bowling knot is a very handy knot to know. And certainly you could even end up saving someone's life by knowing this knot. So remember the rabbit goes up through the hole, around the tree, back down through the hole, tighten it up. You've got yourself a bowling knot.